Let me warn you about something before this video begins. This video includes enzymes. Egotistical maniacs who think everything is all about them. Now, proceed with the video. This is Enzyme. Enzyme is full of himself. He thinks that because people think he's too helpful and oh, they need me for everything if anything wants to get done around here, that he can be just so self-absorbed and do whatever he wants. But in all honesty, he has a lot of things wrong with him. This all started happening when others realized they were crap at doing chemical reactions. So, naturally, the enzyme came in to try and help. When he realized he was extremely good at it, everyone started relying on him. And hence, ta-da, him. He soon began to realize the true extent of his power. He could do chemical reactions faster than a speeding bullet, faster than a car. Now, with multiple of him, his power could slowly be increased. As his power grew, so did his ego. He only began to help only certain people who he liked. Others, he refused to accept and pushed them off. Enzyme's power started to increase. He could start doing chemical reactions at light speeds. There was only two things that could stop him now. Heat. The pH scale. If the enzyme takes too much heat, well, you'll see what happens. I'm melting! Melting! Oh, what a world! What a world! Oh, I thought I could look girl like you! The enzyme is rendered useless, and denature occurs. It is deformed, distorted, to a point where it no longer works. Or if you want something much less lethal, I suggest adding or removing a pH value. It will simply slow down the rate of chemical reactions, much less deadly. Hey guys, it's Mango here. Thanks for watching the video. Some of our facts, which I'm too lazy to implement to the video, is that all enzymes are proteins, they all end in ASC, and that they're also known as cataclysts. So, uh, yeah, cool. And uh, I'm doing a, a face reveal at 100 subs, because obviously you've never seen one of those before. And uh, yeah, thanks, bye. I'm going to go to bed now.